In 2005, Taylor Swift signed a recording contract with Big Machine Records and went on to record six albums for them before things fell apart. When Scooter Braun bought Big Machine from the original owner, Scott Bruschetta, for $330 million, Taylor got into a dispute with Scooter over the ownership of her masters for the first six studio albums that she wanted to buy back. This resulted in Swift leaving Big Machine Records and moving over to Republic Records in November 2018. Scooter went on to sell them to Disney family investment firm called Shamrock Holdings for $405 million under the condition that he keeps profiting from the masters. In what can be called a master lesson in revenge, she began re-recording all of her albums and releasing them worldwide. If there's one thing you don't want to do, it's anger Swifty Nation, and that's exactly what Scooter did. Taylor Swift fans have gone on to buy all of her re-release albums, and even more impressively, they've welded their economic might by refusing to stream her original albums, which Scooter still gets paid royalties on. Hitting Scooter where it really counts, the wallet.